You know, with three minutes left in this entire fight, I'm battling the clock. And I'm willing to risk getting knocked out right here and now to push the pace and take this fight where I need it to and, and finish the fight. started to take note of like who Rhonda was was when she started doing interviews and like oh I'm gonna make 135 and I'm gonna come down there and slap that tie out of her hands and she really kind of came across as like really cocky and arrogant. Me and Misha were meant to be rivals. probably be forever linked and go down in the history books as one of the greatest rivalries ever in MMA history. Um, the, the pro to that is we have elevated women's mixed martial arts to the next level. I personally got to experience the worst of it. Wow, she went to shake Rhonda's hand and Rhonda walked away from her. And I've got to experience the highest and the best of it. I am really honored and proud to be able to say that you know, I had a piece had a part to do with that perception change of the general public and the way that they view women. Holly Holm shocked the world. I feel like sometimes people underestimate me still. Most of the times I've been an underdog in most people's opinion, and I continue to prove people wrong. No suit and tie, but baby, I go to work. Don't do it for the money, but that's one of the perks. If y'all got the shovel, then I got the dirks. Burying rappers, what I mean when I say take them to church. Oh man, I'm back with more bars. Yo, girlfriend on my scorecard. Opportunity knocks, well, someone please tell me where the doors are. Before I trample it, nigga, somebody better answer this nigga. If you ain't never heard of me, I'm about to show you what the motherfucking anthem is, nigga. When you put so much time into something and you have such a big dream and you accomplish it with the entire world watching, it's just, it's crazy. Like, it was kind of surreal, honestly. Like, I didn't know whether to cry or jump or scream. It was the best moment of my life.